te quedó. De ahí no sientes que se iba a levantar, don. ¿Cómo jala? ¿Cómo? No, que chingón. ¿Viste cómo jala? Sí, no, el arrancó, sí. Me dio. Ahí cuando jalé el primer jalón que le di, don, yo pensé que iba a faltar para arriba. Welcome to the channel. Today we are working on this baby. He is back. This is one of the jet skis that we worked on. There's an episode. If you look back on the channel, there's an episode on this jet ski. So he's back for speed now. That should be interesting. We are going to put a cam only setup on this. It is a 2014 260. So I'm really curious to see how fast he's going to go. And remember to comment, like, and subscribe so we can grow the channel, so we can have a bigger budget, so we can do cool stuff. Share, like, subscribe, hit the little bell so you know when my videos are coming, so you'll be one of the first ones to see it. Now, this guy is funny. This is a funny rap. I mean, it looks pretty good. Hey, some people like it, some people hate it. but. Look at this, end track. In Spanish? Huh. Let's open up the seat and see if we find any surprises. So yeah, this is really nice and clean. It looks like he did tell it. I don't remember being this, this just keep being this nice. Hey, I could be wrong. You gotta go back and see the other videos. Hmm. What we're doing on this is we have to take the motor out because he wants flywheel bolts and he wants lightweight stuff. Lightweight flywheel, magneto, and a cam gear. So he's getting the whole package. Took out the dry shaft, supercharger. The carbon seal looks bad already. Uh, I believe we replace this. I gotta teach this guy how to take care of his jet ski. Cause this was here a couple of months ago and it's already bad. <laughs> We got to put a new one of those. Definitely going to need a prop. That, that's a stock prop. So get rid of that. Thinking something 15, 19, somewhere in there. Put a prop on it. Dry, as far as the dry shaft goes, he wants a brand new dry shaft because this is what he had from the last time. He wants a brand new one. So we're going to get him a brand new one. We are almost ready to take the motor out. That will be for tomorrow. And tomorrow we'll take the engine out. We'll replace the flywheel with the lightweight flywheel and all that stuff that we're doing and put it back the motor with the cam and tuning it. So we'll see. We are ready to take the motor out and I noticed something. Hmm. I think this jet ski was not that fast. So you notice in there, that seal right there is broken. So it was definitely losing boost. So let's see what it looks like when we take out the intake. Look at that. And you can actually see it on the head right there. How the boost is just coming out. It's definitely going to be better now. It's going to be, it's going to have its power back plus the power of the callous cam. A few moments later. All right, guys, so the motor is out. Now we're going to deal with the PTO cover, put all the lightweight stuff. Here we go. This motor is really in really, really good shape. It doesn't look like it ever had water. This is brand new. And now we're going to know exactly how it is by taking out this filter here. Look at this. This motor is really, really good. There's no metal, there's nothing. All right, so first thing first, we lock the cam. We are gonna lock this one, make sure that everything is good before we even intend to take anything apart. You wanna make sure that everything is good, that the crank is not messed up or anything like that. It looks like it's fine, but I'm going to now take off this one and lock the cam. The, I mean, the crank. Let's say, I mean, the cam. 
The cam is locked already. Now it's the the crank. Timing is right in the money, so that's good. So let's keep going. Now something that I see very often here in Florida because we have the salt water is stuff like this. You see, this washer is gone. So if I put this back together, this is gonna start leaking. You see how the salt eats up the aluminum. It's like an aluminum crush washer. Either you buy a new one or you buy a new one. So let's buy a new one. So if we look at the spot plugs, remember how the intake was broken. You can see this one is running good. This one is running good. And this one is running lean. See how white it is? I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it made a little difference. Stuff like that, you know, if you have a mess with your jet skis, something doesn't feel right. You have to find out what it is. He told me that it had a little miss. I guess we find out what it was. We gotta change the springs. We're gonna do it with air. So the motor's gonna rotate. You don't wanna make the mistake or ruin your timing chain, so. Chain. Not a change. Um, it's a chain. It's a chain? It's a chain. Change. It's a chain. It's a chain. A chain. We're gonna put the cam in. We're gonna put the timing chain. It's a change. When we put air, it will rotate and it wouldn't mess up your timing chain. 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 A chain. Let's do that. A lot of people ask me how light is your lightweight stuff, which includes the flywheel, my needle, and cam gear, and also my cam, but that's a different story. As you guys can see, it's on zero. We're gonna take this 260 stock flywheel, put it in here. And that's what we got. Three pounds, uh, 0.74. Now this is a stock magneto. We're gonna put that here. Now we got five pounds. 0.3 and this is your stock cam gear put it in here so we got almost six and a half pounds 6.46 6. almost six uh, six and a half pounds six and a half pounds almost six and a half pounds now we got my lightweight flywheel this is an OEM Lightweight, this is a zero. We are at 2.49 pounds. This is my lightweight magneto. 4.22. And here is the cam gear. Wow, that's 4.75. Instead of 6.5 pounds, almost, almost two pounds. Now, the ARP bolts are a lot smaller, so that's more weight that you're shaving off. So I say almost two pounds of rotating assembly. That is a lot. And that's why I got a lot of customers that like it. They put it on and they say, wow, this thing, I can actually feel the acceleration that is why it's almost two pounds of rotating assembly you can get those parts at callusperformance.com they're always available now you know we got the callus cam in we got it on timing right now you guys can see here's one little line and here's the other one this is done now i'm going to put the flywheel on we are going to leave it uncovered and we're going to rotate the the motor and put the springs and retainers in many hours later all right guys so we got a brand new solar prop and a brand new wearing and a seal an r d seal so this is done now what we got to do is cut the motor in of course, got to replace this one that was bad. It's right here. I don't know how in the heck this got 
turn like that, but whatever. It's just we we'll replace it with a new one. Now we gotta put everything back on, put the pump in. We gotta do some tuning. We'll see what happened. Since this is a 260 and it's an RXP from 2012 to 2020, putting the supercharger, it's a pain because it's not like the new ones that the dry shaft is longer and you just put it in and that's it. It even makes that noise. Now with this thing, what you gotta do is you have to have your your dry sh your pump out. So when you put it in the supercharger, the the shaft can move because it's so close over here. Now this is the dilemma. This is a brand new carbon seal with the boot, and this boot is different. It has this thing here. It will be interesting because the boot that it had, it looks like that. You see, there's nothing here. So the supercharger barely fits. So now we're adding a couple of millimeters of rubber. All right, so we got a supercharger. Let's see if we can fit it. Come on. You can go in. There we go. All right, moment of truth. Oh, look at that. All right, well, never mind then. Ha! I guess it doesn't make a difference. All right. Well, that was perfect. That was pretty good. All right. Well, I was making a big deal out of nothing. What do you know? Huh. All right. <laughs> Let's keep going and see what else we can find. Even after all these years working on Sidus, we still make mistakes. Putting the pump back on. And look where I left these guys. I'm like, what? What am I doing? What am I, a rookie? <sighs> all right, 20 seconds later. That's how it's supposed to be. All right, guys. So I'm completely finished. Got everything in here. So got everything on it. So we'll see. We'll see what we got. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, there it goes. So now it needs to be tuned because we got the Cala scam. All right, guys, so it's time to tune this base. Now we're doing something a little different this time. I wanted to hang out with Chris at his place in North Florida. And I was working on the ski and Chris told me, why don't you just bring that thing over here? We finish it up and we tune it and get it done and we go riding. Huh, doesn't sound like a bad idea. So now, Grace is another one that he really knows how to work. Look at this place. Got a private ramp. Got a picnic table here. Completely private. There's a gate over there. And look at this guy. Look at this guy. Unbelievable. Hey, this is one of those that really know how to work, huh? Let me tell you. Chris, the concrete uh, ramp all the way over there. Private lake. You got it made, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, we gotta keep. We gotta do some ranging on this thing because <laughs> it's not finished. But we'll get it done. Get it to the water and see what happens.
right guys so let's see what the piece has now remember this is a bone stock bone stock just a just a cam so and it's a 260 so we're not expecting big numbers with it um, whatever we can get it is what it is um, the cage doesn't even work so I was just playing telling him oh how fast is it we don't even know how fast it is um, it feels good according to Chris so let's see oh yeah oh yeah this is a big difference huge difference in stock hours later all right guys so we are here at the lake i told you guys i was gonna get this guy on the ski and get his reaction look at this he's ready to go <laughs> he's ready to go he's a man of a few words so we'll see <laughs> I just want to see his face. Someone's having fun.
you think? <laughs> Translation. He likes it. <laughs> Te quedó. De ahí no viste que se iba a levantar, don. ¿Cómo jala? ¿Cómo? No, que chingón. ¿Viste cómo jala? Sí, no, el arrancó. Sí. Me... Tremenda diferencia, eh. Bastante, don. Uh, un puto, ¿no? No, está fácil. Dijo que... No es lo más rápido. No, pero. Para lo que es, es fácil. Y ahí cuando jalé el primer jalón que le di, don, yo pensé que iba a faltar para arriba. Y no, vi que don quedó. Tiene que poner un sport mode, acuérdate sí. siempre. See. All right, so brother-in-law is going on it <laughs> and see what his approval is. We'll see. Oh, oh boy, this is one of those dangerous riders. Oh boy. <laughs> This guy is one of those guys that come out in the news. <laughs> His eyes started crying. <laughs> I love people like this that they they have stuck jet skis and and you make them fun, you make them a little faster, and they like, oh my god, this thing is the. I know he's gonna be back. He's already thinking about buying a new one. Hmm. We'll see. All right, guys. So this guy's happy. Look, he still has a smile. <laughs> And he's happy too, so hey, great day. They love the jet ski. I'm telling you guys he's gonna be back because he's already <laughs> telling me about buying a new one. So the new one's gonna be way faster. This is perfect. This is gonna be the loaner, that's what we were talking about. So he can loan guys like this one. <laughs> and he's gonna have fun with it. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Here looks like he detailed it. And a plane goes. 
gotta love the planes. Every five minutes. Just to bother me and you guys with the YouTube channel. All those planes, they only they only come by because you know that I'm making a video. Every five minutes, there's a plane. Anyway. Pounds difference of rotating assembly. Yeah. And there goes the plane. Gotta love the planes. We'll see what happens. Oh crap, aeroplane. Nice. Chris went out and... <laughs> <laughs> A hose pop up. <laughs> and he freeze. So locally he was on his way back. And he had, you, you didn't have to swim, huh? No, no. not yet. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's a sea do. Hey. <laughs> All right, let's go for the second try. Now we got all the cameras mounted. Now let's see what happened. Okay. Chris, did you have fun? Yeah, it was fun. We worked on jet skis. <laughs> and the sun is hitting our face. Yeah. But it's good for the viewers that the sun is hitting our face because yeah. they can see our face. I can even see myself. All I see is the sun. <laughs> That's how my editor says, you need to face the sun. Well, it's not that easy when the sun is that bright. Huh? Yeah. All right, may maybe, maybe we go this way. There you go. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it doesn't look like me. Oh, because I had this shit on my head. <laughs> All right. <laughs>